Corrupt Boxing World, JF Sports. Amir Khan thinks that he can replace Mayweather when he retires. As far as pay for view sensation, as far as being number one. I mean, that's fine, like I said before. It's okay. It's okay to dream. It's okay to think like that. You're entitled to your own opinion. Got it. You know? But I really think that Amir Khan needs to stop harping on the subject of Mayweather and mentioning the name Mayweather because he's not going to get that fight. Regardless of what he says, how he goes about it, psychological techniques and techniques, it's not going to happen. It's not going to work because Mayweather doesn't want to fight Amir Khan. You know, even Mayweather Sr. said, Amir Khan talk too much. He yaps so much. You don't like that. So forget that fight. If that fight happens later on, if Mayweather decides to come out of retirement, if he does retire after Berto, then so be it. But until then, I suggest Amir Khan needs to just fight. Needs to just fight, fight, and fight, and win. You know what I'm saying? Try to get that Manny Pacquiao fight. Got it. You know what I'm saying? But with that Manny Pacquiao fight, yes, it's going to be a very, very hefty salary for him a good amount of money there you know easy i would say easy eight figures very easy right um it's gonna be a middle east if they fight but then again you got Freddie roach talking about danny garcia you got Freddie roach talking about you know <laughs> terence crawford and stuff like that i mean you got a lot of people in line that wants manny pacquiao so if you do get that manny pacquiao fight then fine, you know, but if I was Amir Khan, I'd just start, just fight, you know what I'm saying, you, you just won against Algeria, it wasn't that impressive, but you won, it doesn't matter, just keep winning, 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 not every fighter, not every boxer, you know, has always fought a solid guy, everybody has had their moments when, you know, their opponents wasn't all that, you know, just keep fighting, man, you know, forget it, try to get that rematch with Danny Garcia, you know, Danny Garcia was good, and I'm a fan of Danny Garcia, you know, and, and, but I thought that that win against Amir Khan was, was 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 a lucky shot. You know what I mean? I mean, even Danny Garcia had his eyes closed when he hit Amir Khan with that with that punch that knocked him down. I mean, you know, what I mean, I mean, you gotta give credit when credit is due, and you give Danny Garcia all the credit in the world for for beating Amir Khan, and yeah, that's fine. You know what I'm saying? But I think Amir Khan, you know, I think we'll see a different fight if Amir Khan uh, fights Danny Garcia the second time, but. That's unlikely because Angel Garcia don't want that rematch. But we'll see. Anything can happen. You know what I'm saying? Walter Wade is stacked. Plenty of opponents out there. Hell, go for Keith Thurman. Instead of you harping on the Mayweather subject, you know, keep Mayweather's name out of your mouth. You know, people are already criticizing Amir Khan. A lot of people that Amir Khan's a diva, is crying, he's a little cry, little baby. I mean, you know what I'm saying? He's got to get Mayweather out of his mouth. Every interview, every, almost every interview, there is not one interview that Amir Khan had not mentioned Mayweather you know he's been passed over three four times for Mayweather got it get it you know it's it's, it's over you gotta move on dude gotta move on a lot of more a lot more fights out there for you it might not be as big as you know it could be against Mayweather or Pacquiao but still fight is fighting just keep winning and eventually all the things will fall into place <clears throat> but that's just my opinion but him to keep harping on it it's just it's ridiculous you know what I mean it's time to just let it go, you know. It hasn't happened in three, four times, four tries. It ain't about to happen anytime soon. You know, maybe with fighting Berto, and after that, who knows? He might retire. He might give him a rematch. What the hell? Who the hell knows? You know what I mean? But I think I like the idea of America against Manny Pacquiao in the Middle East. They both can make really, really good amount of money, and a lot of supporters of America, UK, Pakistan, Middle East, and you know, same as same with Pacquiao. You know, that's good. That's a good fight. And people will buy it. You know, we will buy it. You know, it's going to be a good fight. Some people already said that that fight with American and Pacquiao could go either way. You know, that's good. That's good. But for American to just open his mouth and say that there's a blueprint against Manny Pacquiao because Mayweather got it. You know, made him look easy all 12 rounds. Well, Mercon is not Floyd Mayweather, you know, and in my opinion, you keep over, you keep thinking like that, and if you do get that fight against Manny Pacquiao and become overconfident, and guess what happens? That's right, you will be all G read, you know, and, and, you know it's, uh, but like I said, it's good to talk, it's good to dream, and it's good to, to think that you're 
that you're number one, that you're a good fighter, and that you're entitled to your own opinion. That's fine. Everything is fine. You know what I mean? But I just want to say this there and put this out there. Amir Khan getting that fight against Manny Pacquiao, it ain't going to be walking apart. Yes, Amir Khan does have the height advantage, the reach advantage, the young. I mean, you got it. You know what I'm saying? He got all of that. But Manny Pacquiao is not, <clears throat> has not won eight titles <clears throat> for not being who he is. You know, he's not a pay-per-view sensation and people watch him for not being who he is. You're not going to just go there and, you know, walk through Manny Pacquiao, you know, just freaking annihilate him or just knock him out. It's not like that, you know. You can't overlook that midget that's all of you guys call him, you know what I mean? Manny Pacquiao might be short, but, you know, you can't underestimate that guy. You just can't. <clears throat> you can't be overconfident thinking that, you know, he's gonna, that Manny Pacquiao is an easy work. You can't do that, you know. And that's when you, everything goes hell. So, like I said, I, I thought I'd share with you guys what Amir Khan had said again about, you know, replacing Mayweather and stuff like this. You know, he's doing all these psychological tactics to try to entice Mayweather to fight him. It's just not going to happen, bro. You know, you got to keep Mayweather's name out of your mouth and just fight. You know, go try to get Kel Brook. Go try to get Keith Thurman. You got a lot of fights out there for you that's willing to fight you. Hell, he can, you know, dial in and, and call Keith Thurman. And Keith Thurman would be more than happy to get that fight. Because he'll be a pay-per-view sensation. You know what I mean? He ain't going to be no big like Maypac or Canelo Cotto. But it'll be decent. You know what I mean? So, let me know what you guys think about American still thinking and talking about Mayweather. Um, as always, leave me a comment. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. JF Sports. Peace.